Hi, it's Kirsten. These exercises I'm about to show you are great for when you have stiff hips, and especially you can implement these first thing in the morning when you're even lying in bed, but they're a nice way to kind of get the joints moving and get them a bit more fluid for the rest of the day. So they're not too strenuous, um, just go into your gentle range of motion. Don't try and push yourself too, too much. So let's begin. You can do these ones laying on your carpet or a mat. You can do them in bed, like I said. The first one is knee stirs. So it's like happy baby in yoga, but we're going to place our hand underneath our uh, knee or our thigh and underneath the other leg. So we are not pushing down too much into the knees. We're just gently supporting the legs and you're going to do little circles. You can do them both the same way, or you can go one way with one leg and then go the other way with the other leg. And what we're trying to do is make the hips, make the joint, squirt our natural lubricant into the joints. So you might find that when you are uh, stiff in the morning, and once you've got moving a little bit, you feel a little more lubricated. And that's what this exercise is really great for. And also it's kind of nice for a stiff back because we're just gently rocking the pelvis. So we can go into circles and you want to do this one about 30 to 60 seconds or so. You can even go like back and forth like this or in and out. The next exercise is where you put your feet quite wide. Some of us, if we have very stiff hips, we can only go to, um, you know, say 14 inches across, but we're trying to go fairly wide because we're going to now lower one knee into the center. We're not going to be moving the other leg so much. It can move out a little bit, but we're not doing a uh, roll side to side. What we're trying to do is stretch some of the ligaments around the hip, especially on the outside of the hip. Then we're gonna move that leg back and then the other one comes in. This is a modified windshield wiper. So usually with windshield wipers, we go the same way with both of them. But this one is just really gently focusing on one leg dropping in and you're not rotating your pelvis so much. You're allowing it to lift a little bit, but you're kind of keeping it more or less stable. Then we're gonna open that leg up and drop the other leg in. And usually with this one, I do about five times each side and alternating. So again, you're just doing it very, very gently. And I want you to see whether you can feel the stretch on one side more than the other, or does your hip come up a lot more on one side than the other? Oftentimes when one leg is stiffer, we'll try and compensate by lifting the hip up. So just keep your hips more or less stable and still on the surface, on the floor or on the bed, and just allow the, hip, the legs to drop in. The next exercise that we're going to do is the opposite. So we're going to be doing like a butterfly movement. This is where our feet come together. And you can either do one leg at a time, which is a little easier if your hips are really, really stiff. Also, you can pop a pillow uh, beside the leg so that you only go out to a certain point. A lot of my stretches, you'll find that I don't tend to sit in a stretch for a long time because the you can almost overstretch your joints. And because I work with so many people that are hypermobile, we really like to do more active stretching. So we go out almost with the breath. So you can inhale as you drop the, the knee to the side, you exhale to come back. If you find that it's kind of hard to bring the leg back in, you can inhale and then use your hand to push your leg back in. Okay, so again, we're not doing too much to force or pull into a lot of uh, discomfort or pain. We're just gently moving the legs out and in. So if you feel confident, you can do both at the same time. And again, you wanna go about out and in about 10 times, okay? So again, when you're doing it this way, you might find that you really tilt your hips up one way that presses the other. Just allow your hips to be uh, fairly uh, level, even, and then work through the joints themselves. Now, the next exercise I want to try is um, where we are going to do uh, sitting up. So this one might not work so well on the bed. <laughs> We're going to take one leg behind us and one leg in front. So it looks a bit like this. This one is one of the ones that can be a little tougher for people. So 
uh, you might find that your hip is like this. So this is a, an extra one. If you feel like you can do this one, then that's great. You can also lean forward away from that tighter hip and then gently push yourself back up. Again, we're not sitting in that stretch for a long time. I really like to move in and out of a stretch so your body doesn't freak out, get all tight through the muscles, and then you have even more stiffness. We're just trying to create some nice gentle movement. With this one, another um, modification is you can actually do a little bit of turning into the hip. So back and forth like this. Okay, now when we go to the other side, you might find that the hip feels totally different one side to the other. So for me, I feel way more comfortable this way than I did the other way. And that's because my right hip tends to be stiffer than my left hip. So when I'm in this position, I think, oh yeah, I can, I can very easily uh, place both my sits bones down, not a problem. The other way, my right sits bone was lifting up. And that's okay, you just, you just try and get into a comfortable position and then allow your body to relax in that position. Again, you can lean forward into the stretch and then coming back out and then leaning forward and then back out. You can do that five, six times. I really like the spinning one. So you're kind of drawing your hands gently along the ground and that really helps to mobilize, to move, to stretch some of those tight ligaments in the hips. So again, this one is, is probably the more challenging one. So if you can't get your hips in this position, do the other three and, uh, and then you'll have a little more comfort in the hips and then you can maybe get to this one. Okie doke, there you go. You can do those exercises every day um, and see whether that helps you get a little more fluidity, get your hips going a bit better in the morning. All right, all the best.